this video is going to help us practice drawing a ray diagram for a convex mirror. And you can see the red arrow represents our object. As you can see it's a convex mirror because the mirror is curved away from the red arrow. When we're doing ray diagrams, two important points. The first is the center of curvature. That is at the center of the mirror. If the mirror is extended into a full circle, that would be the midpoint or the center point of the mirror. The other is often labeled as F in these diagrams is the focal point, the focal length. And it's halfway between the center of curvature and the mirror itself. Again, oftentimes those are labeled. We're not going to label them because it just makes our drawing a little bit messy. But now we know uh, the line to the right is C and the one in between the center of curvature and the mirror itself <coughs> is F, the focal point. While we're drawing array diagrams, we're going to draw three lines that will represent what will happen to the image after it's reflected by the convex mirror. The first line is going to be a black line. It's going to be drawn from the object itself parallel to the principal axis towards the mirror. Now, once it hits the mirror, it reflects through F. Now, remember, F is the focal point. It's not going to make it to F because it's being reflected, but that's pretty much the line from where it's hitting the mirror to the focal point. And so we're going to use that as a guide to draw our reflected our reflected line. We'll line that up as best we can. So that's our first one. We don't need this line. Again, that was kind of a guide just to kind of show us the, the direction of F. The second line that we're going to draw, we'll use a green line. We use a green line to draw the second line. It's going to go uh, from the image through F. Now, again, it's not going to make it all the way to F. If it did, again, it would look something like that. Not perfectly lined up, but pretty good. It's not going to make it all the way there, but it's going to be towards F. And once it hits the mirror, remember, it's going to be reflected. And so when it's reflected, it's going to be reflected parallel to the principal axis. So I have our two, first two rays drawn. Uh, the third one, we'll use a orange line for the third one. It goes from the object towards C and back upon itself. So it goes from the object towards C. We're going to line that up as best we can uh, towards C. And then actually it would reflect off the mirror directly back upon itself in the opposite direction. So we have our three rays drawn. Now this is a little bit different because while we have our three rays drawn, the reflected um, lines are not intersecting. All right, It's going to be a virtual image because they are going to be uh, reflecting and I'm sorry, they're going to be intersecting behind the mirror. And so we're going to use dotted lines to show that. Uh, and so we're going to be focusing on these reflected lines and where they would intersect behind the mirror. So the first one, remember, was going towards F that way. The second one, the green one, would have continued that way. And the third one, the orange one, would have continued that way. Now, once we have those three lines intersecting, we know that's where our image would form. And we are going to use another little red arrow to represent our new image. Let me get that straight. Not straight yet. Let me try to straighten that out a little bit. I have all kinds of things popping up here now, but that's pretty. Good. So we have our intersection finally. It's a little bit more complicated with a convex mirror because you have to extend those lines beyond the mirror itself. Now, if we can get rid of all of these lines, uh, we can focus in on what the new image looks like. And it'll take a second to click these away. Uh, once we have the new image and what it looks like, then we can start to describe the new image. And again, I didn't get my red arrow quite as straight as I would like, but we're not going to take the time to uh, fix it. So uh, here's the terms that we use 
to describe the new image. After reflection, the image is, well, first of all, is it inverted or upright? Well, you can see the arrow, the new arrow is uh, in the same direction as the old one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to circle upright. It was not turned upside down, so it's upright. The second uh, way we determine what the image looks like is whether it's magnified or diminished. Well, we can see it's not bigger than the original. It's smaller than the original, so it's going to be diminished. And then finally, is it virtual or real? Well, remember we had those dotted lines that were extended behind the mirror itself, so that makes it a virtual image. So our convex mirror gives us an upright, diminished, virtual image.